Salutations friends, today we are reviewing real quickly Freesia from Solinas. I don't think I have to spend forever reviewing this fragrance, but it's really great. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. Normally I, I take forever to review a fragrance and I do spend a lot of time talking and breaking down a note in a fragrance, even the Sola Notes. These are very affordable fragrances. This, I believe, is like around 20 bucks, full retail price. This is the newer fragrance from Sola Notes, along with Almond. I did recently review Almond. I will link any other Sola Notes video and the Almond one below if you are so inclined. Now, one thing I notice about Freesia in general as a note, it is a beautiful flower, and it is found in so many different body mists and shampoos and shower gels and body lotions that generally when people smell it or whenever I see a fragrance that has a very predominant freesia note, people always say it smells like shampoo. It just kind of like scent memory, like this smells like my shampoo or my body lotion or my conditioner. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes florals, like lavender is a great example. Sometimes lavender can smell very aromatherapy. Sometimes lavender can smell medicinal. Sometimes lavender can smell culinary. Sometimes it can smell a little bit more aromatic. There's a variety of different ways lavender can smell. Same thing with violet. Fig's another great example. With watery florals, and especially florals that people don't have too much real world experience, like they're not walking past a bush or a bouquet, <laughs> Uh, they generally try to remember where they smelled that flower. So if it's generally found in like body lotions and shampoos, they're usually remembering body lotions and shampoos. And some people think that that cheapens an experience, but I actually really like it, especially when it's something as beautiful as Freesia. So Solonote's Freesia, I think, perfectly encapsulates that. So there's a lot of fruits in the opening. There's tangerine and peach and pear, and I think pear works really, really well in this. You have jasmine and freesia, and then at the base, you have some osmanthus and sandalwood. Now, sometimes Solonote's fragrances will smell more inspired. Almond's a great example. It doesn't smell like an almond, but it does have some nice almond notes in it, which are really beautiful. And then other times, fragrances like yuzu or I would even say their white tea smell like like this like yuzu or white tea this smells like a freesia like dominant product and that's great now the reason why I like this is because there's something about freesia to me that smells very um like majestic weirdly enough growing up for me the height of sophistication was getting those beautiful bath salts and body lotions and bath gels that were in those beautiful bottles that were always like sweet pea or freesia or rose and jasmine and I loved the way that when you would use those products they would smell off of your skin there was something so delicious about them but there was also something about them that just smelled like I felt like a luxurious older woman being like a 12 year old using expensive bath products. I, I loved it. I used to play competitive volleyball when I was in middle school. I'm not very sporty. I, I know, surprise, surprise. But I, I also hate being sweaty, so surprise, surprise. But um, I would come home and just be covered in sweat and just be like, oh, I'm icky and just shower and use those products and I would feel so clean and so fresh and smell so pretty. And I've talked before about being bullied for how I smelled. I didn't smell bad. It's just kids are mean. And one of the products that I would wear, not wear, like not scented like body sprays and perfumes, but I would take so many showers and so many baths and the body products that just left your skin smelling perfumed. I love those. And a lot of the products we had were freesia. And this smells like that. And that's why I like this. So it's gonna open up with fruits and not like an edible fruit, but like a perfumed fruit. So think of like if you have a product and it smells kind of like a pear and a peach and it's a little bit juicy from a tangerine, but again, it's not edible. It's not like, an, like you wanna bite into it. There's just something about it that's very refreshing and very clean, but also something that's a little bit fruity. And you get more of the pear than any of the others. I think the pear is way more dominant in this than anything else at least on my skin you know like the aftertaste of a pear that you get 
that's kind of like what my skin smells like when I wear this and it's really, really nice. The freesia and the jasmine in here are beautiful. They come hand in hand, have this kind of very soft, perfumed floral experience. It's very easy to wear, but there's something about it that's very elegant and very easy. And the sandalwood and the osmanthus are nice. They're just in the bottom. They're just there to kind of work with the florals and the fruits. They're very pretty. It's an easy fragrance. It's a $20 fragrance. I don't need to break it down too much, but if you do enjoy those fragrances that are light and floral and pretty and have that nice, beautiful kind of watery freesia uh, kind of dominant scent to them and you want that in a fragrance, I think, I think this is great. I really like Guys, it. That's my review of Freesia from Solo Notes. If you guys have had the opportunity to try this fragrance, I'd love to know what you guys think. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.